One of the nice things about Google Drive is that any type of file that you have in Google Drive, you can actually share with others. And in order to do that, you're going to choose the blue button if you're physically working on the file. So maybe I decide I want to sh share this presentation with a couple of my colleagues. There's a couple different things you can do here. You can enter in someone's email address. And obviously we could put in multiple people with a note about what we're sending them. This pencil right here is giving them the ability to edit the file. So whoever this person is, they'd be able to log on and change anything that's there. If you want the person to just be able to view the file, maybe you're working on a presentation and you want their thoughts on it, we're going to set it here. And then of course, if they can comment, they also have the ability to view it so they could give you feedback on it as well. If you're sending out an email, you're wanting to send a document to a large number of people and you don't want to type in their email addresses individually, you can get a shareable link. And a lot of times I'll do this with each unit calendar I have. I would send them out to the parents in a mass email generated from Aspen and I would give them the link to my unit calendar. So once we choose get shareable link, we're going to go right here and we see a lot of different options. If you want something that any person on the web could search and locate, we would choose that one. This is the one that I always choose, and it's that anyone with the link can look at it. Hence, if I'm sending it out in an email, they could click on the link and look at it. The Knox County School one is perfectly fine, but think about all the people you may have looking at this document who aren't Knox County Schools users. So anyone who's not a teacher or maybe it's a student who's using their personal Gmail account, they wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and hit Save. Now here's the link. If I were to open up that email, I would simply paste that link into my email and if a parent clicked on it, they would now be able to see the spreadsheet that I'm working on. So that's one way that you can do it. The other thing that you can do is that if you're just looking at the file, here's a lab safety, I can choose the file and here's another way to share it. You're going to get the exact same settings down here we can go through actually right here and see who does currently have access to it. So I could go through and add maybe people in my PLC or new teachers to the building who may want to see it. So I showed you, you could hit there. You can also do a right click and hit share as well. And it's going to take you to that exact same menu. Remember get shareable link would be the way that if you're trying to send it out to a large group of people, that's how I would go about it. Again, the, it's going to default to the Knox County schools, be able to view, Okay, so we're going to choose more, and then we see we have all those other options. Um, in the past, I've done things where I needed students to sign up to bring things. For example, Key Club, a lot of times I need them to have access to a spreadsheet. And let me just kind of go ahead and show you what one of those looks like. Computer's freezing up a little bit here. So here's where our students were signing up to work, the basketball concessions. And this is something where the students can actually log on to this spreadsheet and you can see here they can type in their name and email information. So to get that sent out to them, again, I used the get shareable link. I chose anyone can edit. I copied that link and then I sent that link out to all my key club members so that all they had to do was click on the link and then type their information into it. Um, being able to share and collaborate on these files is definitely you know, a lot of people think of Google Drive as a place of storage, and it is a place of storage, but it's also definitely a place of collaboration and a way for you to share files and documents with those that you're working with.